من يجيب العبد أبد السوء أو وراء ومن يجزي على المعروف جنات وأنهارا الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على إمام الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإيسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم جعل منهم آمين um, I think from my perspective I guess it would be helpful to share a little bit from the perspective of a student and a khadim of a teacher um, and there's a couple things that I think are very uh, dangerous kind of sort of poisons that a lot of talab can get kind of caught up with and I'm just going to name three of them the first and foremost and I think most potentially dangerous is the poison of arrogance of considering oneself better than others and if you look at Imam Al-Ghazali's book Ayyuh Al-Walad Muhib um, where he's basically giving advice it's a very interesting text actually I don't know if you guys ever read this text have you read Ayyuh Al-Walad it's like a beginner's text that all of you should definitely read there's a translation and there's also a parallel text in Arabic if you have time to read it with a teacher you should read it um, but basically Imam Ghazali, the premise of the text is that there's this advanced, advanced, advanced student who we, we would consider him a sheikh basically and he had completed all of his studies with, with Imam Ghazali and other teachers and then at the end of it all at the end of the entire text, at the end of all of his studies he basically writes a letter to Imam Ghazali, he asks a question, he says what, what is the point of all of it, like, what's, the, what's the summary, what's the thesis of all of this and Imam Ghazali basically in essence says the answer is to Hajjud he says the answer is praying to Hajjud. But along the way, the answer is very long. He gives stories and narrations of different very famous scholars and different you know, um, uh, pious people. And what he basically says, uh, one of the advices he says is that if you look down at others, if you ever, ever, or if I ever, ever consider myself or yourself better than others, then that is one of the dangerous arrows of shaitan, is of, of the advanced student or the student in general, or the person who wants to come closer to Allah, is that as they grow, they begin to see other people as further down than them. And that's a very, very dangerous spot to be. The Prophet ﷺ used to interact with the people who were socially below him, right? The homeless, the poor, the sick. He used to interact with those who were spiritually below him, obviously as he was the most spiritually high human being ever. And he used to interact with those who were morally below him, who were in character below him. Everyone compared to the Prophet ﷺ was below him, but he would never ever make them feel that way. He would never ever let them even feel, get a hint that they were below him in any way. And that was part of his beautiful character, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ right? So the number one thing is not to be arrogant, that the knowledge that you gain is not meant as a sort of prize or a dinar or a dirham or a dollar or a pound, right? But rather it is a, it is a, a medicine that is meant to be taken by you and I and the people around us both. The second thing, besides arrogance that can become very dangerous, is the apathy towards applying the medication that we are receiving. So for example, I've known many tulab who have fellow students of mine who have not prayed Fajr in a while, who have you know, given up serving their parents in terms of studying is more important than my parents, who have you know, um, become addicted to things like pornography, um, who use bad language and watch bad materials. Like These things are very real threats, right? And you all know the story of Barsisa, correct? the very famous monk, who, or the pious monk, who basically fell into zina because of the temptation that he allowed himself and shaitan kind of pushed him towards. So this shows us a very, important, a very important concept that the most religious and learned amongst people can still become very, very ill from their own personal disease of the heart. So it's very important to be vigilant on the, character, on the situation, the station of the heart of the student, so that we don't let these things creep in. And the last thing that I'll say is to have good suhbah, right? To make sure that you have good suhbah with each other, but at the same time, never ever lose a connection to the people who are outside of the circles of the, of the students. Right? This is we're not we're not here to create a sort of uh, academic elitism that takes us away from people, that removes us from the circles of society, both Muslim and non-Muslim. The goal of studying Islam is not to raise us above to a point where we don't even see the same things that other people see, but rather it's to give us a lens of purity and truth so that when we look at society, we can see the good and see the bad and try to encourage others and ourselves towards purity and away from other things. Right? So that's for, the, that's for the student themselves. The other thing I would say is that really, really honestly be a khadim of your teacher, be a servant of your teacher. Um, or be a servant of any teachers that you have in any way that you can, whether it's buying them coffee whether it's buying them fish and chips or whatever great things you guys have here in England, or whether you know, it's taking them out, whether it's paying, you know, sending them a gift to their home, 
buying gifts for their children. Sheikh Abdel Nasser always talks about how if you buy a gift for any of his, for either of his daughters, is basically better than buying him a gift, right? Buying gifts for their kids, giving them kids candy, things like that. Serve, serve your teachers. There's so much barakah in serving your teachers. And the reason why I like to travel with Sheikh Abdel Nasser is because it gives me the opportunity, since we live apart from each other, it gives me the opportunity to do things like getting his clothes ready if I can, if Abdullah has, hasn't already gotten it ready, or you know, getting him food or buying him coffee. And everyone who's around Sheikh Abdel Nasser on this trip has been kind of helping him out and, be, and giving him some khidmah, which we should be doing. What this does is it breaks down the arrogance and the ego of the student. It crumbles it. Because as you gain more knowledge, you can begin to think that you are at equal level as your teacher. And that's why Imam Shafi, when he was, when he was a teaching students, students used to argue with him. You know the famous story where the student was arguing, 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 and then ran away from him? He grabbed him and said, what? Don't forget. What did he say? He said, you're still my brother. You guys remember this story? Famous story. He was arguing with one of his students, and the student got up and ran because he was so frustrated. He grabbed his student and he said, you're still my brother. Don't forget our brotherhood. That can happen to any of the students, that they gain knowledge to a point where they think that they can challenge the teacher, and to a point where they actually think, like, my teacher is wrong, or this or that. When you serve someone, you put yourself in a situation where you constantly are reminding yourself that they have something that you need, they have something that you are trying to benefit from, and that your love for them increases. Right? So there's a few, a few to see how that I myself need to work on, so I thought I would share it with... Uh, y'all out of love and respect and care. Mashallah, you guys are doing a great job. What you're doing is noble and is divine. So keep up the great work, inshallah. Make du'a for us because we need it, inshallah. While we're traveling, we'll make du'a for you guys, inshallah, as well. I'm not going to take any questions because I'm not worthy of answering questions. So uh, inshallah, just make du'a for us. I appreciate you guys' hospitality and I appreciate you guys inviting my teacher to come share some time with you. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha la anta mustaqrahu wa من يجيب العبد أبد السوء أو وراء ومن يجزي على المعروف جنات وأن